Hey, 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 what's going down, my friends? It is Mr. Jonathan Budd, and I have an experiment for you today. I am attempting to do this video in four minutes or less, and it's part of a new concept I have called Wisdom Blasts. And what I want to do is I want to take the wisdom and the knowledge and the enthusiasm and the energy and the inspiration and all the things that I'm cultivating on a daily basis through my entrepreneurial journey and I want to share them with you in hopes that you find some relevance and you find something powerful and uplifting for your own entrepreneurial journey and career out of the brief moment of time we have together. So with that out of the way, I probably only have like three minutes left. Here's the topic of today's video, opportunity. And specifically, killing opportunity. Killing opportunity. Not opportunity like, oh yeah, it's so great. No, opportunity is actually the problem in a big way. And as entrepreneurs of today, we have to learn to kill opportunity. Here's what I mean by that. There's so much opportunity in the world today. There's seriously so much that I believe that our biology has not caught up to our current paradigm of the amount of opportunity that exists in the world. And maybe a hundred years ago, when everybody was kind of struggling to survive and things were much more desperate, opportunity is a big deal. In fact, for most of human humanity's evolvement, opportunity has probably been a real big deal. But now we've reached this place where there's actually an overabundance of opportunity. And in order to be successful today, we have to learn how to focus like you would not believe. And we have got to learn to take our creative energy, 100% of our brain power and our creative energy, and channel it into one direction that we are most inspired by and most passionate about. And that is how you make big things happen. And here's how I know this because I have screwed the hell up in the last few years. I promise you this, okay? I did one of the dumbest things in 2012 that I've possibly ever done, although it was in a, from a great place. I decided in 2012 that I was going to launch four companies. I had a vision, and every one of them I loved. I loved this opportunity, I loved this one, I loved this one, and I loved this one. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna launch them all. And it was from a great place because I was taking the advice of Richard Branson, one of my favorite entrepreneurs, when he told me that I needed to learn how to build teams better. So I had a great intention. I thought I was forming right partnerships, building teams. But the problem is I was immature in my approach to building teams. And I didn't yet really know how to build teams. And so a lot of the things that I thought were going to happen by team building didn't actually happen. And what really happened was that my creative energy just got spread so thin across all these different projects that nothing actually really got my full creative, my full creativity, my full, you know, vision, my full heart, my full soul. And this is a tragedy. This is killing us. We are wasting so much of our time and energy and creativity here, 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 here. What I've now realized, how am I doing on time? Oh my God, 50 seconds. What I've now realized is that I have got to pull it all back in and I've got to focus. I've got to learn how to kill opportunity and the universe has continued to challenge me. Just in the last week, I probably got pitched five times, you know, be the master distributor for this company, come be our partner over here, let's JV on this, all these things. And it's just testing to be able to kill opportunity. Can I remain crystal clear and amazingly focused on my vision, the most important thing in the world to me, whatever it is it inspires me most to get out of bed every morning, can I give 100% of my creative energy to that? That's the challenge, that's the test of our times. And I put that question to you right now because if you're scattering your energy across all these different projects, your creativity is not going into anything at the level that it really needs to be. And if you really wanna blow it up and do the biggest thing you've ever done, take 100% of your brain power, put it in one thing, and never look back. All right, peace, my friends. We get back to work. Woo